Hello, hello, my dear students. Hello, hello. Sorry, I was finishing our class. Welcome, Eduardo. Welcome, Ivan, to your class. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let me just change my background. Okay. There we go. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Eh, me disculpo por no poder estar al final de la clase ayer. Eh, bueno, se me reinició la... La, la compu, laptop. sí, lo vi que estaba ahí un poquito trabado. Sí, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey, now, it, now it's a very nice night because it's raining. It's pretty awesome. Al menos aquí está lloviendo, está lloviendo por donde ustedes. Yes or no? Okay, Salvador is not going to be in class because he is working, he says. Okay, so today we are going to work a little bit on the topic of the food. We are going to work on there is and there are, and we are going to practice a little bit of some and any as well. Okay. Yesterday, we were working on sentences using some and any. Do you remember them? ¿Se recuerdan de las oraciones que estuvimos haciendo ayer con some and any? Uh -huh. Yes or no? My dear students, do you remember the sentences that we were creating yesterday? Can you listen to me? Me escuchan? No me escuchan? Me han dejado sola, abandonada. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so this is what we were studying yesterday, right? We were studying sentences with some and any. And we were specifying that some is for affirmative sentences and any is for negatives and questions. And in this case, we have some examples of the sentences that we had in the conversation. And here, for example, we have, do we need any X? Yes, let's get some. In this case, it's an affirmative sentence and we use some. The next one we have, no, we don't need any. It is a negative form, right? The next one that we have here, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. It's affirmative. No, we don't need any. We were also talking about countables and uncountable nouns, and we were using some examples. Who can give me examples of Countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns, who can give me examples of that? Examples of countable nouns. Nombres contables, we were studying that yesterday. Uh, for example, uh, coconuts. Coconuts, very good. Bananas. Bananas. Candies. Candies, because they can be plural, right? Very good. Examples of uncountable nouns, things that you cannot count. Water. Water. What do you put on the cereal? Milk. Milk. Coffee. Coffee, right? Those are the things that we cannot count. 
And we were working on some and any. So if we have here, for example, this conversation, we're going to work on this one while your classmates connect. And it says the store doesn't, and this is negative. And if you have a negative sentence, you know that here you need to use any. We have lots of potatoes. Let's make, and this is affirmative, we are going to have here. This is for negatives. What do you use for affirmative sentences? Some or any? We use some, right? Some. Let's make some. Do we have, for the questions, we use some or any? Uh -huh. any, any. For, for the questions we use any any es para preguntas y negativas y some es solo para los afirmativos we need to buy we need to buy what any or some 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 we need to buy some we need onions too some some, right? We need some onions too. Here I have, we need some onions too. I don't want any any onions. In, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get affirmative. Some, some. some celery. I don't want any. any, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put affirmative. Some. Some, Some apples. apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Do you like apples in potato salad? No. <laughs> no, but it's very delicious. La ensalada de papa con manzana. It's very good. <laughs> He's like, no. Angelica <laughs> says, like, no, I don't like it. Right? Let's see. Here we have it is very important to remember that we use some for affirmatives and any for the negatives and the questions. And it says, eh, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Practice with me. The store doesn't have any potato any salad. Potato. The store doesn't, the store have, doesn't, doesn't have, have any potato, potato salad. salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Well, well we have, we have lots, lots of potatoes. potatoes. Let's make some. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay. 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 Do we have any mayonnaise? Have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. No, no we need, we to, need buy to buy some. some. We need some onions too. We, we need, need we some need onions some too. Onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh, 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 I don't, I want, don't any want any onions. onions. I hate, I hate onions. onions. Then let's get some celery. Then let's, let's get, get some celery. celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. No, no, I don't I want don't any want celery in my potato salad. potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. But, but let's, let's put, let's some, put apples some apples in, apples in it. it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Apples, apples in potato apples salad. In potato salad. That, that, sounds so awful. Awful. that sounds awful. Okay, we are going to make a quick stop right now. And I need you, please. I have here Angelica, Eduardo, Ivan, Luis, and Gustavo. Well, I cannot see anybody right now. No veo ninguno, creo que mi, mi internet es el malo. No veo sus cámaras. Okay, I need you please to go to the refrigerator. Quiero que vayan a su refrigeradora y traigan algo de la refri. Go and get something from the refrigerator. Cualquier producto, el que quieran. Go and get something from the refrigerator. Vamos, vamos. Go, go, go. 
We're going to go and get something from the refrigerator. Go, go, go and get something. Vayan a traer algo de la refri. Lo vamos a ocupar. Okay, go and get something from your refrigerator. Anything, it can be anything. My dear, Alex is going to bring me something from the refrigerator. Okay. Okay, and I need to see your camera to see the object, right? Because I cannot. <laughs> what a curious thing. Okay, I have something from the refrigerator. <laughs> Good. What? Luis. Good. Good. Uh, let's see, Ivan. I cannot see you. Después se lo van a comprar, no tengan pena. And. <laughs> good, very good. And Mr. Eduardo, what do you have from your refrigerator? Creo que la refri le queda lejos. Um, um, okay. No sé. <laughs> a, that's a mango, right? Mango. Mango. Okay. And now I need you to tell me what are you going to prepare with the object that you have on your hand. What are you going to prepare? Are you going to prepare a fruit salad? Are you going to prepare, I don't know, a snack, a dessert or something? I have here some chocolate. I am going to prepare a chocolate cake, right? With the chocolate. I have some chocolate and I'm going to prepare a chocolate cake. And later I am going to prepare ice cream with chocolate on top, okay? That's what I am going to do with this. I am going to cover the name so I don't give any commercial to this, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. You don't have that on your refrigerator. Mr. Gustavo, what do you have and what are you going to prepare? I have mustard. Uh -huh. I am going to prepare a sandwich. A sandwich. With jam tomato and mustard and <laughs> let me see after I'm going to prepare I don't know what else uh, a hot dog <laughs> a hot dog with mustard and chips with mustard <laughs> and chips with mustard very good job thank you Clan for Gustavo. he's going to prepare chips with mustard Angelica what do you have and what are you going to prepare I have a pear. I, uh -huh. I prepare a fruit salad with a pear and apples okay. and some apples. Um, uh, before later. I prepare after a layer. <laughs> later, I prepare a cake with pears. Okay, a cake with pears. Good, very good job. Thank you, Angelica. Very nice job. Mr. Luis, what do you have and what are you going to prepare? Okay. I have a cocote, no? A mumbi. I, I have a mumbi. I have a mumbi. Show me the mumbi. I have a mumbi. Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you going to prepare? I, I prepare... Uh, a juice. A juice. Hey, very creative. Very nice. You will prepare juice. Mom bean juice. That's very nice. Mr. Ivan, what do you have and what are you going to prepare? Um, well, um, I like the tangerine. Tangerines. Uh -huh. um, I prepare um, good. Um, for me, the dangling is. Uh, He's enjoying the a snack. No, it's a snack. <laughs> it's a snack. <laughs> it's like, they are very good. Did you? <laughs> 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 good. So you're going to prepare a snack, right? You're going to prepare a snack. What yes. dish, what dish can you have with the tangerines? Que 
qué eh, platillo o qué cosa podrías preparar para las... Yes. Yes, I heard the teacher. Yeah, but who said it? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se How do you say cocktail? Cocktail. 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 For example, um, fruit uh, co cocktail fruit. A fruit cocktail. Very good. A fruit cocktail. Very nice. You can prepare a fruit cocktail with your tangerine. Very good job. So you can prepare a fruit salad with Angelica <laughs> and with Luis. Mr. Eduardo, what do you have and what are you going to prepare? Um, I prepare prepare toast with mantequilla, um, mango with lemons and salt. Mango I, with lemon and salt. I yes. prepare prepare so much with lemon, onion, and salt. Okay, <laughs> a, a good, a, a complete combination, right? You are going to have your mango with lemon, chili, and salt. And then what else are you going to prepare? Además del mango con chili, ¿qué otra cosa va a preparar? Um, sandwich. With mango. Uh, uh, mango. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo creo que no podemos hacer sándwiches de mango. <laughs> Ma mango mermelada ah a mer uh, okay in that case you're going to prepare a, a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it can be a jelly sandwich un sandwich de jalea a jelly ah. sandwich hello Mr. Elmer hello Mr. Gerardo welcome to your class okay so let's continue here thank you very much for inventing your new preparation and recipe. El sandwich de mango fue el que más me gustó. <laughs> a mango sandwich. Okay, but indeed, with mango, you can prepare many things. With green mango, you can make salad, you can make curtido, you can make a, um, a dresser for the, for the food, uh, a, a side dish for the food. You can have it in juice, you can have it in, in cakes, in desserts. Mango has a whole variety. So here, I have here with, uh, with these uh, little pictures that I have here, we are going to explain the little recipes, right? And that's why I asked you to do the activity that we did uh, some minutes ago. For a chicken sandwich, you need some bread, some chicken, some lettuce, and mayonnaise. You don't need any cheese. For a cheeseburger, what do you need for a cheeseburger? You need a bread. You need bread, uh-huh. Yeah. Meat. You need? Meat. Meat, meat. very good. Cheese. Tomatoes. Ketchup. Tomatoes, ketchup. You need cheese. Cheese. Cheese, very good. Yellow cheese or white cheese. Can be chicken. Chicken for a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, if you want to put chicken, then you can put chicken and, there. Um, potato yeah. chips. Potato bacon. chips, bacon. Good, very good. La Poderosa Onion? has cucumber. everything. Onion, cucumber. Pickles. Do you know what pickles are? Pickles, pepinillos. Yeah. Uh, pepinillos. Yeah. Pickles, right? Pickles are pepinillos. Well, so that is for a cheeseburger. And for sure, you need the potato chips because that is a must, right? A hamburger, it's a best friend of the potato chips. What about for a vegetable salad? What do you need for a vegetable salad? Vegetables. I need tomato. <laughs> tomato. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Lettuce. What else? Carrot. Carrot. Carrot, good. Uh, celery. Broccoli. Celery, broccoli. broccoli. Onions. Onions. Onions, good. In some cases, people put Ma beans. Mayonnaise. 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 I like the carrot. Carrots, good. Well, what else do you put in a vegetable salad? Cucumber, yes. Cucumber, tomato, lettuce. Olives. Olives, yeah. <laughs> Olives. <laughs> salt. Salt, right? Salt. Salt and pepper, good. Yeah. 
and address what do you say, vinegar? Vinegar. 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 How do you say aderezo? Dresser. Vinegar dresser. and dresser. Ranch. And ranch dresser. It's the same. Yes. You just change the name. You can right have dresser. you can have white dresser, ranch dresser, mustard dresser. A uh, sweet and sour dresser, right? You just Barbacoa change barbacoa dresser, depending on the type of dresser okay. that you want to have. Okay. And what do you need for a fruit salad? Uh, I need an apple. 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 apple, apples, orange, orange, banana. Banana. Apple. bananas, pineapple, strawberry, strawberries, good, mangoes. 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 <laughs> mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. Raro, pero me gusta echarle limón. Yeah, lemon, and it's good, it's good. So it doesn't lemon turn good. black. Así no se pone negrita. Watermelon. Watermelon, yeah. Hey, avocado lemon. for the vegetable salad. Yes. Yeah, exactly. it's good, yeah. avocado. For the fruit salad, you can have honey as well. Honey. Yeah. Honey or condensed milk. Deli. Yeah. With condensed yogurt. milk or yogurt, right? yogurt or you can have chocolate <laughs> <laughs> as i have it here <laughs> yogurt right that is the um the the ones that you can use right for the mix and in some cases in the fruit salad and also in the vegetable salad people like to put pineapple to the vegetable salad and also seeds nueces mm. oh, uh -huh. wow. or bread People put yeah. some bread yeah. or the croutons. Almost. The croutons. Yeah. I like the croutons just like that. <laughs> like a snack. <laughs> I usually honey. ¿Quién está jugando Pokémon Go aquí? Nadie. Mi tono de Okay. Sorry. It's like, hey, who's playing Pokémon Go? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in some cases, yes, people put the croutons and people put seeds or fruits in the vegetable salad and it's good. And some other people put jam on it also. They put jam or bacon. Yes, they put ham or, or bacon or chips. Exactly. They put chips on, on, on the vegetable salad. And if you, or eggs in some cases, they put egg. If you go to a very famous pizza restaurant, people just get crazy creating the salads. And it's like, no, ya no. Ya no, es que la gente. Because of the pandemic. Uh -huh. <laughs> por la pandemia y por el. <laughs> Era perdida. Yeah. Me, me la pone para llevar, por favor. <laughs> It's a big salad. Como que no había mañana, había que hacer la, la ensalada. <laughs> ¿Y cuántos andan con usted? No, yo solo. No. Oh, no. <laughs> ok. Y en experta haciendo ensaladas de esa. Ya, yeah. hay gente que sí les, les urge. Yo, yo, le pongo, yo le pongo tres bolas y ya me saca ahí. <risa> yeah, tiene, but, truco. tiene truco como que poner de base que ponerle a los lados y todo it, it's an art definitely well that's very good so those are the things that you need in order to create the different dishes that we have there I have here one example of a, what type of meal is this one is it breakfast lunch or dinner Is it breakfast, lunch, or breakfast. dinner? Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast right? Breakfast. In El Salvador, this one can be <laughs> breakfast or dinner or lunch. Here, we, we don't exclude anything. Si comió huevo con frijoles en la noche, comemos frijoles y huevo. We mix. All, all, yes. time. all the time. In the morning with bread, at night with tortilla. In the United States, what objects can you see as part of the breakfast? What objects can you see as part of the breakfast? And you have them here. 
Eggs. Eggs. Bacon. 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 Coffee. 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 Toast with butter, orange Or juice. Coffee. Jam. Jam and jelly. A fork. A fork. 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 Ahí se ve quién tiene hijos y quién no. Why? Yo ya vi todos los episodios de Forky. Yeah. Forky is a, it's a series in, uh, in Disney Plus. Okay. Una pregunta. Ajá. Forky pregunta exactly like that. No. Ya, yeah, ya ves. Dese una vuelta ahí por Forky pregunta en Disney Plus. Es bien divertido. Okay, ahorita, ahorita. Por ahí. In Japan, what are the types of uh, food? that you include in a breakfast? Soup. Fish, Fish yeah. rice, soup. Yeah. Soup. 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 soup, 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 soup. Okay, important. I am going to make a stop here. Soap and Habon. soup. Yeah, soap Habon. is habong. Soup, sopa. Maybe it's not going to be very delicious, right? Um, <laughs> in, in, in always the person. The pronunciation always O and U, soup. Yeah, Ooh, soup. Pickles. pickles. Pickles are pepinillos. Oh. Pepinillos. In the morning. Uh-huh. And it's a very, it's very strange. It's, it's very a strange. very, it's a very curious breakfast in, in Japan. It's yeah. like in, in Guatemala, for example. In Guatemala, they give you meat for breakfast. Yes. And you are like, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. a piece of grilled meat, un pedazo de carne asada for it's, breakfast. It's, it's like and, also, and also uh, oats. Oats that it's avena. Oats and grilled meat. Some years ago, I visited Guatemala for an event. Y granola? And, oh, I think that it's the same. Granola is the same. Okay. Granola, it's granola. Maybe in Japan it's granola, hmm. but it's the yeah. same oats. And so I traveled to Guatemala and they gave me grilled meat for breakfast. And I was like, what? And oats. Me dieron el vaso así como este tamaño de avena. And I was like, okay. Y el gran pedazo de carne asada. And I was like, okay. <laughs> for breakfast. And here in El Salvador, it's like what? Pupusas, eggs, beans, cream, cheese but nothing similar to that one. And in Mexico, what do people eat in Mexico for breakfast? Eggs. 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 Beans, tortillas, tortillas. fresh fruit, fresh fruit. sweet bread, bread. Coffee, coffee with, with milk. milk. Coffee with milk. <clears throat> what is one thing from all these lists that you wouldn't uh, eat for breakfast? Something that you would never eat for breakfast. Soup. Soup. Fish. Uh, what about the pickles? Mm, very delicious. With sandwich. sandwich? Yeah. With, the, with a sandwich, maybe, right? Be fish. <laughs> yeah, fish. fish. Yeah. And what is the most common thing that we have from this picture? compared to El Salvador? What is something that we have in common? Eggs. 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 Things. Things. Sweet coffee. bread. Coffee Sweet bread. With bread. Coffee with milk. Mm, sometimes fresh fruit. Sometimes fresh fruit, yes. Tortillas. Tortillas. Tortilla. For sure. Yes, we use, we also add, uh, well, we don't have toasts with butter, but we have bread, right? We yeah. have bread. And for sure, the Salvadorian excellence breakfast for everybody, the pupusas. Always. Yes. Aquí, si, se le, arruin, si se le arruina una llanta al carro, time. no hay a donde cambiarla. Pero pupusería. Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, <laughs> dinner. They are good. They are good for, for every single meal, right? Pupusas for breakfast, pupusas for lunch, pupusas for dinner, pupusas for midnight. Everything goes well with pupusas. So here we have the different types of meat 
uh, meals, sorry, that we have for breakfast in different countries. Let's check on the, the little conversation that I have here. And it says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Uh, well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. What type of breakfast do they have in uh, Kumiko's house? What um, type Japanese. of breakfast? Excellent, a Japanese breakfast. Japanese. What things do they eat? <clears throat> Fish. What? Fish? fish, rice, and soup. Rice. Fish, rice, and, and soup. soup. Is she going to eat fish for breakfast? Is the lady going to go and eat? Acepta la invitación a ir? Yes or no? What do you think according to what you have in the conversation? Yes. 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 Because she says, exactly. It says, I never Sorry. eat fish for breakfast, mm -hmm. but I like to I try like new to things. Try new things. It's like, well, yeah, it's curious. It's a strange, but I am going to try it. I am going to do it. And she goes and eat fish for breakfast. Here, for example, in this conversation, we have very curious words, like, for example, always we have usually we always have a sometimes always as well never and let me see i think it's just that these words that i have marked in the boxes have an, a specific name do you know the specific name of these words always usually sometimes never almost never often do you know the name of these words Adver Adverse Adver of, of time 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 frequency frequency adverse of frequency because it gives me the frequency of situations for example, if I say, I always go to the beach. Ah, la teacher solo en la playa pasa. Right? Mm. I always go I to the toco. beach. I never go to the beach. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I usually, I usually cook pupusas. So maybe once or twice a month, right? Usualmente, a veces, right? I sometimes, I sometimes cook chicken sometimes a veces right i never eat fish for breakfast it's like no never nunca right i never eat fish for breakfast so it gives the idea of the frequency of the different situations and this is what we are going to um study in this part of the topic right we're going to study the adverbs of frequency but before we move into the adverbs of frequency we are going to change a little bit this conversation for us to be a little bit more creative here we are going to replace this one we are going to replace this one and for sure this one and we are going to replace this part the drink and this one okay we are going to replace these words in the conversation to create an original one i need one person to help me necesito un voluntario que sobreviva este cambio de conversación angelica thank you very much me encanta los voluntarios <laughs> I saw I saw it in your eyes. It's like me, teacher, me. Okay. Uh, Angelica, you start the conversation and I am going to give you the other part. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. 
come to my house. My family always has a Salvadorian style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have eggs, beans, uh, fried bananas, and cream. Y ahí escoges uno de los que te digo. Fried. Uh -huh. fried, fried bananas for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have fruit too. And we always have coffee. Well, I never eat uh, fried bananas for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Very good job. Yay. Angelica survived. Very nice. Now, very good job. Mr. Gustavo, go ahead. But now I am going to start and you are going to change the conversation. You can have a Mexican style breakfast. You can have a Salvadorian style breakfast. Or you can invent the style of the breakfast. Mr. Gustavo, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a, a bean soup on Sundays. <laughs> really? <laughs> bean soup for breakfast? That's interesting. We usually have no, rice. Says, sometimes we... Ahí ya nos saltamos el paso porque ya me dijo que come. <laughs> uh, sometimes we have... Y le agregas otra cosa. Uh, sometimes we have uh, dessert too, and we always have horchata. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never eat beans soup for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very <laughs> Excellent. Very nice, Gustavo. Beans soup for breakfast. Yeah, that's curious. Very nice. Mr. Gerardo, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Uh, is Salvadorian food, in beans, uh, the cream, uh, and milk. Milk for breakfast. That's interesting. Yes, I milk. Uh, I never uh, chocolate. You say sometimes we have y le agregas otra cosa. Okay, que... sometimes we have a uh, chocolate. Two. Two. And we always have. And we always have a uh, lemon tea. <laughs> well, I never drink lemon tea for breakfast, but I like to try new things. <laughs> Good, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Gerardo. Luis Gonzalez, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Salvadorian style breakfast on Sunday. Mm, really? What do you have? We usually have eggs, rice, uh, tortillas, and beans. Uh, rice for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have uh, chocolate too. Oh, and we always have. No falta ahí la otra. And we always have. Uh, and they always have. And they always have. Uh, okay. Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon tea. Well, well I cinnamon never tea. eat. <laughs> I never eat cinnamon <laughs> tea for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Definitely. <laughs> curious. <laughs> curious. And the last one, we're going to have Mr. Uh, Ivan. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Guatemala style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually usually have a chicharrones soup. Hey, wow. Ch chicharrones <laughs> for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes uh, we have a salad too. And we always, and we have, we always um, have um, lemon tea. Well, 
I never eat chicharrones soup for breakfast, but I like to try new things. <laughs> very good job, Ms. Ivan. Very nice, very nice. Excellent job, you see my students. This is good because once you get the ideas of the conversation, you can invent more conversations, right? More interaction, more things, right? For you to enhance your vocabulary. And that was very nice. And you are very creative as well. Well, so here you have the adverse of frequency. The adverse of frequency are in general, right? because they are not very punctual at the moment of referring to a specific frequency, but they have a specific position. In this case, the adverbs of frequency go after the subject and before the verb, right? That is the position of the adverbs of frequency. You don't say, I eat always breakfast because that is incorrect. So you say, I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast, right? I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that you can put at the beginning. And you say, sometimes I, okay? Es el único que podemos pasar al principio. Sometimes I. But the other ones cannot be in a, another position. They go after the subject and before the verb. In this case, we have examples here of questions as well with, do you ever? Do you ever, it's like, alguna vez? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? En algún momento comes pescado para el desayuno? It's like, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Do you ever cook breakfast for your family? Do you ever cook breakfast for your family people? And you can say, yes, I always do. I always do, right? Yes, I always do. Here you have the meaning or the different levels that you can have of the adverse of frequency, right? 100 is always, usually, often and sometimes can be like 50% and hardly ever and never it's like, 20%, 10% or zero, right? So my question is, Ivan, do you ever cook breakfast for your family? And here you have the answers that you can use. Okay. Yes, I always do. Very good. Gerardo, do you ever cook breakfast for your family? Uh, no, I never do. <laughs> Luis, do you ever cook breakfast for your family? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Eduardo, do you ever cook breakfast for your family? Uh, yes, I always do. I always do. Mario Saldivar, do you ever cook breakfast for your family? Yes, I always do. Okay. Do you ever eat pupusas for breakfast, people? I never do. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> do I you? I, you, I can't. Mm, you say, do you I ever, can't. do you ever drink coffee for breakfast? Yes, I always. Yes, I always. I usually, I always, right? I almost always do it, like casi siempre. Mm -hmm. Do you sure. ever? Yes. Uh, what is uh, often and hardly ever? Very good question. Often is seguido. Sí. Seguido, o sea que um, de tres días, dos días lo hace. Y hardly ever es casi nunca. Casi nunca. En yeah. this case, mm -hmm. we, we use do you ever, but if we use always, is that okay. the case? In that case, when you say, do you ever, is for the question. Esa es la forma de la pregunta. Do you ever, alguna vez? Mm -hmm. Alguna vez lo haces y en la respuesta va a tener, obviamente, con el adverbio de frecuencia, la respuesta. Sí, siempre lo hago. No, nunca lo hago. A veces lo hago. Okay? Pero do you ever es para dar pie a la pregunta. Do you ever. También tengo la otra forma de pregunta. That is, how often do you? How often do you? This is an easier question. How often do you drink soda, people? ¿Qué tan seguido? How often do you drink soda? Mm -hmm. I'll say in a week. 
Once a week, right? Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Uh huh. How often do you drink soda, my dear students? Every day. Right right now? The Every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Right now, I'm drinking soda. What is the meaning of what, <laughs> Gustavo? Hardly, oh. hardly ever. Hardly As, ever. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, no, I hardly uh, ever drink soda. I hardly ever drink soda. I prefer the juice. The juice or the, the... water, right? Good. Very good. Oh, juice. <laughs> in the water the water okay okay <laughs> the mineral water is good mineral water yes. is very good i i like the salutaris i like it yeah. so yes. when you say how often do you it's like que tan seguido and this takes me to a, a little explanation that i want to do here i am going to share the board for everybody here we can have um, okay. Here we have two categories. We have definite and indefinite. When you have different types of, uh, of adverbs of frequency, we can have adverbs of definite frequency. What are these? Definite frequency adverbs are the ones that specify a moment of uh, the situation. For example, you can say every year, right? Every year. This is a definite frequency. A, another one that you can have here, it's for example, every day, every day. Another one that we can have here is once a week. We can also have once a month. Y no hay eh, frecuencia en general. Aquí tenemos adverbios de frecuencia específica, right? Every year, every day, once a week, once a month. You can have here, for example, every Monday, right? And you can have every December. And in this case, we have a specific frequency. What is the difference between these ones and the other ones that we are studying that are the ones of indefinite frequency? And they are called indefinite frequency because you, you don't specify a moment, right? You just say a characteristics of this. It's like always, sometimes, uh, frequently, or we're going to have here often. Never, uh, hardly ever, almost never, almost always. And here you have, for example, uh, okay, I'm going to use this one. So these ones. Almost is, is it, almost is casi. Casi, yeah, almost never is uh, ca casi nunca y almost always, casi siempre. Okay. And podemos usar el never ever. Uh, here you can use never only. Because if yeah. you say never ever, uh, it's not really uh, useful in, this, in that case. Mm. Maybe you can say uh, when you use do you ever, es para preguntas. Do you ever, es para preguntas. Okay. So entonces no entraría en esta categoría. So here. What I need to explain right now is the following. That, uh, for example, the ones on definite frequency, you can say, every day I go to school. I go to school with my sister, let's say. Or I go to school with my sister every day. Right, and here you have the two forms. I go to school with my sister every day. Important, you can use every day at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. And in this case, with the adverse of frequency, you own all the, sorry, you only use them after the subject. And I say, she usually cooks dinner, right? And you cannot say, and it's incorrect to say, usually she cooks dinner. 
Okay? Eso estaría incorrecto porque no lo podemos ocupar así. Only the ones of definite frequency can go at the beginning or at the end of the sentence, but these ones cannot go like this. Okay? So this is the difference that I wanted to explain for you, right? The ones on definite frequency, they can go at the beginning of the sentence and at the end of the sentence, but the indefinite only after the subject and before the verb, okay? That is a point that I wanted to clarify for you to use it and for you not to use it in the incorrect form. And as you can have here on the examples, here we are going to do a little exercise of locating the adverb frequency in the correct place. ¿Dónde les dije que teníamos que poner el adverb of frequency? Before, uh, before verb. Before the verb, exactly like that. So here we have, what do you usually, what do you usually have for breakfast? Where do you need to put the other adverb of frequency that we have here? We have the adverb of frequency often. Okay. And this is the sentence. I often. I often, right? I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. And we have ever. Do you ever? Do you ever? Do you ever? Right? Do you ever? Do you ever? And the next one, sometimes. I sometimes. Do you? I know I have. I know I sometimes. I sometimes. The way. Exist the way. Sometimes I have. I sometimes have or sometimes I have because sometimes it's the only one that you can use at the beginning or after the subject. What about sometimes. the next one? Do you usually eat, eat, usually eat, eat rice. rice for breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? And the last one? No, I, 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 I hardly ever. ever have I hardly rice. ever, I hardly ever have rice. Give me your finger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a visitor here, sorry. Assaulting the chocolate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> eat it, go ahead. <laughs> my, my, my kid comes and says like, can I have some chocolate? It's like, <laughs> with the finger like that. <laughs> they say, no, I hardly ever, good. And in this one, I have some sentences, but they are a little bit crazy. And it says, I have breakfast on never weekends. And the sentence is, I never have breakfast on weekends. What about this one? Work, I, snacks, eat at hardly ever. Yeah, hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever. Eat, huh? eat, eat at, work. at work. Eat at work. Very good. Eat snack work. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Good, the next one. Eat for pasta dinner sometimes I. I sometimes, I sometimes eat sometimes. pasta, pasta for, for dinner. dinner. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Very good. What about yeah. the next one? Have I dinner with often family my? I often, I often, I often, I often eat dinner with my. I often have dinner with my. My, my family. With I my often family. have dinner with my family. Now, based on these examples, can you give me one original example about you? Pueden crear un ejemplo acerca de ustedes usando un adverb frequency? And here you have. Mm. Go ahead, Mr. I usually eat, uh, eat the dinner with my family. I usually eat dinner with my family. Very good. Excellent. Another one. Thank you, Luis. Another example? I always walk with my dog in the morning. I always walk with my dog in the morning. Very nice. Another example. I usually drive a car to the work. I usually drive my car to work. Very nice example. Another example. Another example with the adverbs of frequency, Mr. Mario Saldivar. Mm, I always have breakfast with my family. 
I always have breakfast with my family. Very good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivan, what is your example? Okay, I never eat lunch with my family. I never eat lunch with my family. Very good. Gerardo, what is your example? Uh, I never have dinner in the Sunday. I never have dinner on Sunday. I never have dinner on Sunday. Elmer, what is your example? I almost ever uh, take a shower in the morning. I almost <laughs> never take a shower in the morning. Much information. I I almost always, right? Or I always. <laughs> I always, ya lo ventanearon aquí. I almost, I, I always, I always. Si decimos, I almost always, I, 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 es que no. <laughs> I always, right? I always. And let's see, I am going to ask, let me see, who am I missing? No, I think I, I ask everybody. The girl. And Angelica was the first one that she drives the car to work, right? Yes, I think I, I, yeah, I'm missing Mr. Errol, but he left. He fell down. So this is the use of, of the adverbs of frequency. They are not really complicated, but you need to be careful not to confuse them, right? Not to confuse them. And to finish with uh, this topic, here I have a couple of questions. And it says, pasta, often, sometimes, or never. Hamburgers, often, sometimes, or never. Fish, often, sometimes, or never. Eggs, often, sometimes, and never. And broccoli, often, sometimes, and never. What I need you to tell me is how often do you eat these different types of food? And you can say, for example, I never eat pasta. I sometimes eat hamburgers. I often eat fish. I never eat broccoli. I sometimes eat eggs, right? Base the information on you. Let's see, we can start with um, Mr. Elmer. Can you give me your example about these specific types of food? Uh, one by one? You can choose any of them. Si los quieres decir todos, si quieres coger algunos. Okay, I sometimes uh, eat pasta. Good. Uh, I often eat hamburger. Hamburgers, good. Hamburger and I sometimes eat fish. Very good job. So I sometimes eat fish. Thank you very much for your examples. Miss Angelica, go ahead. I sometimes eat pasta. Uh -huh. I eat, I, I sometimes eat hamburgers. Good. I often eat eggs. Very good. And sometimes I eat broccoli. Very good job. And I need Mr. Luis, go ahead. Give me hey. your examples. I often eat pasta. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat hamburgers. Uh, I never eat fish. Good. Uh, often eat. I often eat eggs. I often and eat eggs. Eggs and sometimes I eat broccoli. Sometimes I eat broccoli. Good. Very good. Let's go with Mr. Gerardo. Give me your examples. Uh, I often eat pasta. I never eat hamburger. Uh, I usually eat fish. Uh, and always uh, eat eggs. Very I good job. Often eat pasta. Is broccoli. I, Sorry. I often eat broccoli. Very good job. 
So I am going to go for the last example with Mr. Ivan. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I often I often eat egg. Eggs, eggs. Eggs, uh, yes. Egg. I sometimes eat pasta. And I never eat broccoli. Very good job. So as you can see, this is the, uh, well, the topic of the adverse of frequency. It was not really complicated. Was it difficult? Les costó? No les costó? No, it was very, no. it was very easy. Okay, tomorrow we're going to work a little bit. Tomorrow we're going to work on little teams. We're going to work on different conversations there and you are going to practice, but this is going to be tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. tomorrow. Good have a beautiful bye -bye. night. Rest a lot and have a nice night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye.